Hey there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim. I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. So this is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. I love it. It's really pretty. So we're going to do a general spread for you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you want a private reading, I do those poor donations. So check out the box below. Oh. All right, so we're going to start calling in Capricorn's angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Well, let's get a card to represent the issue going on right now with Capricorn. And that came out pretty quick. We have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords or Eight of Air. It's like this person is chained to their own thoughts but they have the key to get out. Feeling chained, feeling like they must suffer for something. Chakra's all lit up though. Once again, that's good. You could be attached due to a feeling of responsibility or expectation. Mm. Being in your head, <clears throat> not realizing you can get out of being a, or feeling a certain way or having a situation be a certain way. What is the challenge? That right there. Oh, okay, that's sweet. This is uh, like my favorite card as far as artwork goes. It's so pretty. I love the color. Um, it's six of water. So the issue is your maybe upset about a family situation possibly a soulmate situation you know this is a good card about strengthening your roots and strengthening bonds with or meeting a soulmate could be talking about a reunion too that you might be anxious or nervous about let's look at the root or the heart of the issue for this eight of swords energy for capricorn King of Water, King of Cups energy. I'm wondering if it is because emotions are like all over the place and it might be hard to balance them. Maybe the issue is about balancing out your emotions, getting through something and understanding it. So it's like at the core of something is this understanding of what unconsciously drives us, of how to balance our emotions. All right, let's get a past position. So this could be, by the way, a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's look at the past issue for Cancer. Past issue, wow, that's nice. As above, so below. I'm always getting a feeling of working with the imaginary and what's real. I feel polars here. So I also feel working with spirit and that connection from above to below. Integrating myth with the real too. So mythological creatures earth creatures. I, I just, I see it all tying together. Something is being tied together. Something is being planned out by your spirit team and your higher soul. All right. What is the present situation? I think it's that one. King of fire. Wow. We got a lot of king energy here. Very strong energy. You see that Leo represented by the strength. And this king does have a lot of strength, fire, and passion. And this card is also representing the fact that they know how to make things. They are the builders of the whole deck. They have mastered the ability to build things from scratch, from start to finish. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy. 
It's a very powerful energy. Two kings. So you're being moved by really big energies right now, Capricorn. Um, let's see. What is the near future card? Near future, you'll be doing and acting with integrity. So making sure that things are ethically well for you doing things with integrity, you know, it, it requires honesty, patience, trust, bravery, courage, things like that. All right, the, uh, how you are feeling Capricorn, how are you feeling? You may be feeling a little bit of seven of fire, which is you may be feeling a little stressed, a little stressed out at the moment. And maybe you're trying to really delve in and see something at this moment. Or maybe you are witnessing yourself a transformation from this really, really stressed state. And then we have the four of air. Okay, so stressed out, needing to recover and healing. Four of Swords energy, sitting out the fight. So yeah, that's the energy of you feel stressed and you need to heal, you need a time out. You need to give something a rest. All right, so then we're gonna look at your external energies. External energy, we have the crone. This is a good um, energy to have around you. It's magic, magical wisdom from experience possibly it doesn't have to be an actually older person but it could be somebody who's an old soul and has lived many lives they have they do know it, what what appears as magic to us is simply because of knowledge extra knowledge and wisdom not looking at anything as bad or good so something around you is quite magical all right, let's look at the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears, inspiration. That's probably the hope, is that passion is reignited yet again and away from the stressed energy and into the energy of let's create something, let's get busy, let's start doing this and being passionately involved. Oh, we have love, so it might be a love interest coming in for you too, passionately. <laughs> Um, or this is a passion project. It is a general, so it could be, um, you know, business as well. All right, let's look at the probable outcome. Capricorn. Probable outcome. Wow. The father. This is another builder energy. It's like the emperor. Very strong energy. If you're stepping into this energy, then yeah, the outcome's going to be really great. Master to none. In charge of the kingdom, though. The foundation is strong, is sturdy with this person. They can handle multiple issues, multiple problems, and still maintain a stable environment outside and around their environment too you know outside of their house and around it all right so capricorn let's move on let's get a let's get an oracle card for you feeling like doing that so oracle card please let's get wisdom from the oracle for capricorn get one more how about two <laughs> how about two something going round and round feeling like a lesson isn't isn't being integrated something is not quite as it seems all that glitters is not gold so watch out with comparisons and for phony people around you possibly that blue energy, calming blue energy, is kind of reminding me of that water and the healing. Um, yeah, so just being aware that 
just because something might have a different face or may look different, a different job, it might be the same lesson repeating as a different form. I think you're asked to imagine what you could possibly do. Beginning steps of manifestation, imagine. All right, so avoid that karma wheel from spinning round and round and try to integrate what you have learned. Thank you, Capricorn. Sending you love and light. Bye.